Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial and learn web crawling in 30 minutes. The purpose of this tutorial is to provide end-to-end -end practical knowledge of web scrapping or web crawling to anyone. By anyone I mean technical as well as non-technical audiences. Web, web scrapping and web crawling is very fancy term nowadays which everyone is talking about. Everyone has some basic or high level idea about this thing. But what? What, but what is more interesting, I have seen very less people are aware that web scrapping or web crawling is very easy and it can be performed with just some regular Linux, Unix or Windows commands. I have kept the duration of this video very uh, this course very short to the point and crisp so that people from uh, all backgrounds, no matter technical or non-technical students they all get more knowledge in very less time. So, by web scrapping, I mean getting data from any website to your local system programmatically. By programmatically, it means you can use Python APIs like Beautiful Soap, Scrapy, uh, or any Java, .NET, Golang, Linux, or Windows scripting, etc. But as this tutorial is for non-technical audiences as well, so we will use linux script for crawling as it is very simple and easy to use and it can be learned by anyone in matter of hours so now you know about web uh, uh, now you know that web crawling is about getting data from websites you don't own to your systems of databases owned by you but so till now uh, whatever we talked that was about web scrapping what is web crawling and how it is different from the web scrapping term so in general conversation our daily talks they both have same meaning but if you talk on high level there is a difference which is important for you to know before moving forward by web scrapping, we mean dumping data from any website and by crawling, we mean finding the associated links or hyperlinks also along with text. I will give you one example to make it clear. So in the whole tutorial actually, we will be using this website for giving any kind of uh, uh, demo on web scrapping and web crawling and uh, this is uh, 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 th 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 this website is owned by me so I am not worried about uh, getting sued for doing any kind of web scrapping or web crawling okay so like in these websites you can see there are multiple products listed so suppose if i'm a, if i uh, if i want to know uh, i want to track the price of any specific product and i want to get a notification if the price of that product get reduced right so what i will do uh, what i can do i can just track the product and it price i can crawl uh, i can uh, do web scrapping on these uh, two data points that will be product like dabur organic honey and its price that is 200 rupees okay on daily basis and if on some special day i see the price of this product is got, uh, got reduced to 150 rupees then i can 
get a notification and i can go and buy this product right but whatever uh, uh, means i told you it is uh, uh, it is web scrapping here because i am just uh, i am just uh, is, uh, dumping the uh, product name and rupees but what if i also uh, what if i also dump the link associated with this product which is this uh, So if I also dump this hyperlink associated with the product in my local systems or data databases, it will come. Uh, it will be uh, uh, termed as uh, web crawling rather than web scrapping. Okay. So as I told you uh, on basic level, our normal normal conversation, both words web crawling and web scrapping are same. So in the whole tutorial. i will be using uh, both terms web scrapping and web crawling interchangeably and you can uh, you can just understand that there is uh, no distinction uh, there is no difference uh, in both terms uh, in the scope of this tutorial so mostly uh, web uh, whatever uh, we do as an individual to uh, get some leads to get some information to track some product prices or stock mutual fund prices by uh, that that th that is uh, mainly called web scrapping web crawling is mostly done by search engines like google bing yahoo to map and index new pages on web or reindexes a uh, reindex existing pages which made uh, some modification why are different mathematical algorithms so why to do web crawling so uh, uh, it depend on every individual uh, uh, nowadays uh, most of the people uh, because web crawling is easy so most of the uh, uh, companies prefer to do or uh, prefer to use uh, paid or free apis uh, but uh, still uh, as an individual uh we can do some level of web scrapping or web crawling uh on websites which are permitted okay so uh, the, the uh, these are few reasons uh, for which we can perform web crawling first is to know the current trends for setting up a business like you can crawl a, a crawl any news forum or you can crawl any uh, website which give you some uh, idea that what is going on in now uh, in current days to get leads for business and earn more cash to get data from any website in your local systems and change it into insight like you can crawl any website uh, which is having stock prices on daily basis then you can make some chart on basis of stock prices and stock volumes and you can make your own conclusions to know about running sales discounts like if you can if you uh, want to know some offers running on amazon alibaba and flipkart you can just crawl them for knowing is are they offering any kind of coupon or discounts on their products to know if your favorite stock or mutual fund is available in cheap prices and ready for uh, ready to, uh, and ready for you to buy it so if you may be trading in stocks or mutual funds so you uh, you may be uh, knowing it very well that you uh, due to your daily job uh, job routine you are not able to track it on daily basis but if somehow this data get into your local systems you can put some kind of email notification or sms notification on your mobile that if that uh, if the uh, price of your favorite stock uh, is uh, 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 getting undervalued you get to, get to know in advance to know if a new job matching to your skill is posted on into your dream company so this is also very obvious like other things that if you are interested in a data engineering or data science job in google but currently they don't have any opening right so what you can do you can go to any uh, nokri portal and you can just uh, 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 place a small uh, scraper on that website to uh, 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 just see that if any uh, uh, new job regarding data science is po uh, 
posted from the Google company to know what your competitor is uh, doing. So I believe that uh, this is something uh, uh, you should uh, big companies will never do uh, because they like to follow some uh, business governance and protocol things. Uh, but uh, th uh, these are uh, th this is just to give you some idea that web crawling can be very helpful for you uh, to do some street smart things. Uh, so before crawling a website, we first need to know whether that website is crawlable or not, because all websites on internet is not crawlable. So uh, for checking that. First, we need to know that all website publish their HTML page source on internet uh, or on web so that search engines can crawl them and show in their results. So the, 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 uh, if the information that we are looking to crawl, if that is available in that source code, then we will be able to crawl that website other otherwise we will not be able to crawl that website in a simple way so how will we check this let me show you by one example so these are two websites one is littlemarsh.com and one is alibaba so in these two website one is crawlable and alibaba is not how can we check this? We will just open the page source of both websites and uh, we will uh, we will search those uh, the products those we want to crawl. So for this website, suppose we want to track the price of this product. Uh, let's take some simple product that is Flip John. Okay. So if you go into the source of this uh, this web page and we search for this term flip john we see that it is available on multiple places also the complete product name is available in the page source that means this website is crawlable now let's come to alibaba in alibaba we can search any product say we are trying to search sinjen sinjen easy care okay so let's search this project uh, product Sinjin. yes so we can see that we are not able to get any product uh, we are not able to get this product into their base source let's try with another product uh, that is the, uh, this product you yeah uh, the, uh, sorry uh, name is very uh, complex so let's uh, just type it yes this is also not available so this uh, make us conclude that this website is designed very so uh, in a very sophisticated manner uh, most probably uh, these pages are server uh, rendered from the server side so we will not be able to crawl this so once we know that a website is crawlable or not then we will move forward with crawling that website so for that we will need to uh, we will need to set up some environment and uh, uh, we will be uh, we'll be do, uh, for simplicity we will be doing cr uh, crawling in some cloud virtual machine and for cloud we will be using google cloud so these will be steps to perform crawling in this tutorial first we will be creating a new gcp account so i have already one gcp account so i will skip this tutorial but just keeping uh, the, the, the people who are not aware about this i will just give them some idea that how can they uh, set up a gcp account which is very uh, very easy uh, once we are done with crea creation of a gcp account we can uh, just create a new uh, linux vm in gcp in our case, we will be creating a Ubuntu VM, okay? Because uh, I find Ubuntu more easy than other Linux flavors like CentOS and uh, other, uh, other Unix uh, uh, Unix uh, 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 flavors. 
so for uh, keeping that uh, simplicity in mind i will be uh, going uh, with the ubuntu machine then in third step we will be learning some basic linux commands that will be helpful for us in performing crawling in fourth step we will be installing a, a database named mongodb so we can use any database uh, if uh, we want uh, like it can be mysql it can be uh, postgres it can be oracle it can be sql you can use any database for uh, 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 for uh, doing crawling and uh, storing the crawling results into your local systems uh, but here we will be using mongodb reason is same for simplicity then in fifth step we will be doing crawling with the shell utilities means shell commands uh, those we learned in step 3 in step 6 we will be saving the crawling results uh, in our database and in final step we will be crawling multiple web pages at once that means suppose if we want to uh, uh, crawl multiple products from our website uh, i will give you one simple example suppose if you want to uh, know the stock prices of one uh, thousand companies right so you can not crawl all those at one time because uh, stock prices of all stocks are available on different pages in most of the cases okay so in those cases you uh, we will be creating a loop which will iterate through all the stock companies one by one and saving the uh, stock prices of those in our databases okay so for creating a new gcp account we will be opening an uh, we will be just opening a new window and we will be searching for google cloud sign up okay we can just open uh, any link uh, uh, any uh, few uh, few links which direct you to google website and we will be just clicking on the get started for free uh, so let me tell you one important thing here uh, all major cloud providers like google and aws they provide uh, some credit uh, i think it is 300 dollar for both uh, which you can use uh, for assessing their products and see whether the, uh, the, the, their cloud services cater to your requirement or not so uh, you can uh, this uh, free credit is enough for you to run your vm uh, run your single uh, or uh, two or three vms for two or three months because i uh, this free credit is uh, quite sufficient for running you a few resources but uh, always monitor your resources and billing to see that you don't uh, cross their free credit and have to pay without any reason okay so here we will be clicking on get started for free and because we we are signing up with a new account so we will create create account for myself and uh, here you can uh, give your any existing email address or you can create a new email address this the, you just need to fill this form uh, uh, first name last name your any existing email id or if you don't have any uh, existing email id or if you don't want to use any uh, existing gmail address uh, then you can just create a new gmail address here and you can just uh, follow the uh, uh, follow the ui uh, uh, process for creating your google account Okay, so now we'll proceed with creating a new Linux VM in GCP from which we'll be doing uh, able to do crawling. So uh, this is our Google Cloud Console, and you can see that I have uh, around uh, I have this much of credit in Indian rupees, uh, which is around one fifty dollars uh, US dollars. Uh, uh, still free credit running for me uh, while I have already utilized some of the resources so I have almost consumed $150 uh, resources but I have another $150 in my credit okay so here we have already uh, VMs created but for showing you how to create a new Ubuntu VM I will be showing you the processes 
So we'll go to create instance. We'll be giving the machine name, RVM name. It can be Ubuntu crawl. I think uh, we, we can assign memory and CPU. I think two virtual CPU and four GB is fine. We will be changing it to Ubuntu type, machine type to Ubuntu. We can also go with Debian because Debian is much like Ubuntu. But uh, like uh, we talked in uh, initial of this tutorial that we'll be using Ubuntu machines. Uh, I think uh, disk uh, size is enough for us. But if you are crawling more data, then you can just increase the size. If you are uh, crawling it on regular basis uh, with some cron job or uh, daily or hourly, then you can just increase this, uh, this data. Uh, because we will be uh, okay so this is the inside traffic that will be coming to vm we don't need to allow http and https traffic for crawling uh, we just need outgoing traffic to enable uh, which is uh, enabled by default we will be just going with creating this virtual machine Our virtual machine is created we can just log into virtual machine by clicking on ssh yeah so we are logged in to the machine and we can run any command on this machine okay so now our vm has been created and we are uh, ready to perform uh, crawling before that we need to know some bas basic linux commands uh, that uh, we will be using uh, while uh, uh, while uh, 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 performing our crawling so uh, let me uh, uh, so uh, ls uh, list files and directories in current folder it is equivalent to uh, dir command command in unix uh, cat file name print the content of a file cut is split a string on basis of some delimiter like if you have worked with excel then you may be knowing the uh, splitting or uh, splitting a single excel cell into multiple uh, columns so cut in linux does something similar and wget is a command which download uh, uh, page so html source code of a web page uh, in a file and uh, it stores into your uh, local system uh, rm file name or folder name it deletes a file or directory uh, and uh, uh, sometimes you need to uh, delete the file forcefully for that you use command rm rf file name okay so now uh, we are still one step away from uh, performing our actual uh, crawling uh, because uh, we don't have any database uh, installed it uh, to store our crawl results so like uh, we told in initial lectures that we will be using mongodb here for uh, uh, for storing our crawling results you can also use any other database of your choice uh, like sql mongodb uh, sorry sql mysql oracle postgres if you are more comfortable in database uh, that database but we will uh, uh, recommend mongodb for its simplicity and uh, uh, easy easy uses okay so these are the steps we will be performing for mongodb installation you don't need to worry about these steps because you will get it in next udemy section uh, in form of a document okay, so these are the steps we will be uh, uh, performing on our ubuntu machine first we will be importing the key by this command we just have to copy this copy and paste this command okay now we have to uh, Install this package gnupg as per the uh, recommendation of Mongo official website. Okay, so this package is already installed. It comes uh, with the Ubuntu VM. Now uh, I think it is the same as first step, uh, but uh, there is no harm in uh, repeating this command.
now uh, this command create a list file for mongodb uh, which uh, uh, this uh, which uh, tells uh, which version to install in our case we are installing mongo 4.2 recent version is mongo 4.4 but as per uh, as per uh, best practices it is better to keep uh, the one version lower than the recent version uh, due to some unknown bugs uh, bugs in the recent version okay now we will be updating the package manager or package database because we just make some uh, made some a few changes in the repo Okay, so now uh, we are going to install the MongoDB binary. Let me clean this screen first. We can see that Mongo 4.2 is being installed. Okay, now uh, MongoDB is installed. We will be just uh, we can just uh, see status of MongoDB service by uh, this command sudo service MongoDB status uh, we can see it is currently not running so we'll uh, start it by uh, this command yeah so now we are logged into mongo console and we can uh, our mongodb is up and running and we can finally finally go for our uh, crawling. Hello everyone, this is Chandan and welcome back to my web crawling tutorial. So now we are done with all prerequisites needed for crawling. So we will proceed with practical demonstration. So this is the website littlemarch.com that we are going to crawl and by crawling here means we are saving the data from this website to our local Ubuntu systems. Okay, and what data we are saving? Product name and product prices of all products that are listed on this website. Okay, so before beginning to crawl any website, first we should have some, uh, first we should have a look on some basic structure and patterns of the website. Like in this website, if you, uh, if we have a look, we can tell that it is an e-commerce website. It has multiple products listed on multiple pages, means pagina pagination enabled. On each page, there are 15 products with five rows and three columns. Okay, with five rows and three columns. On first page, this, this is the first page of this website. So on first page, there are 15 products you can ignore the products that are listed on the top of this website in this category best selling uh, selling product because these are the duplicate products and we don't need to crawl these products if you will be crawling other uh, products this will uh, th these products will automatically be crawled okay and if we count total number of products on this website it will come around 41 so how it is 41 on first page it is 15 on second page also it is 15 you can see it is uh, three columns and five rows but on third row it is around 11 okay it it has some a few less products so it is to it makes total 15 plus 15 plus 11 that is 41 besides you can also notice all the product listed on this website have similar visual look so any ui guy or someone 
having some HTML knowledge or web design knowledge will get it uh, in uh, will, will get it easily that these products are containerized in similar HTML structures. So, if we get to know HTML code of any one product and from that code if we could fetch product name and price we could do the same for all products so for doing so so for doing it first we need html code of complete website by com uh, by complete website here we mean all three pages okay so let's uh, first copy the html code of all three web pages one by one let's first create a directory in this uh, machine oh, there is some problem with my uh, keyboard okay now let's change to this directory okay so we will be copying the uh, we will be copying the HTML code of all three pages one by one. How can we do this? There is one utility come with Linux that is called wget that copies HTML code from any website to your local system. Okay, we can use it like this. Uh, we can uh, give one switch hyphen no a file name to store the HTML code in this file. Okay, because we have three pages, so let's. Uh, give it name product underscore page one i don't know what is wrong with my keyboard okay so first page is uh, copied now we will be copying the url of second uh, page And in this same way, we will be copying HTML code for page 2. We will just change the file name and we will just change the URL. Okay. Similarly, we can do for page 3. We will change the file name. Okay, so now we have three HTML pages for three different pages on our web website. Okay, and like we told, we need to start with any one product. We need to see the uh, inside what HTML structure the product name and prices are stored okay so let's take any uh, any simple product let's take this product nestle sarele so let's try to find uh, okay okay before doing anything first we need to combine all three files into one file how can we do this we can just uh, use this command cat We can give this redirection operator and we can create a new file that will be uh, that will be combined file and uh, uh, this will be combined file which will be having uh, the data of all three files okay so now let's try to find this product into this file so how can we do this there is one command grep which search for a string in a file in any Linux file it can be HTML it can be simple text file so this is the beauty of uh, this command okay let's do it cat product dot HTML grep we use grep uh, we always use grep with a pipe when we are trying to search uh, find some string in a file okay now we will try to find this product Nestle Serilab okay 
you don't need to copy the complete product name you can uh, we can just uh, pick some partial name okay this is not coming that means uh, so the issue here is uh, that we are trying uh, uh, if you see on the website uh, the uh, why we are not able to search this string in this HTML file because you can see that uh, the uh, e in Nestle is not in uh, not e actually it is written in some different language and this is the reason we are not able to search this item so no problem let's uh, try to search with the uh, serelec okay we can uh, just do in case sensitive search so if you are doing in case sensitive then it doesn't matter that if you put uh, if you put uh, uh, in, uh, any character in caps or small of the string okay so now let's check this okay so now here we go this is the uh, this is the uh, HTML structure uh, where we have information of this product okay and we can clearly see that uh, the name of this product here okay inside this HTML uh, block so now we got the uh, we got uh, the information from where we have to fetch the product name now what about product price okay if you see from the website product price is 190 rupees okay but if you search for 190 inside this by grape i don't think we'll be able to find something so what may that mean this is the crux of complete crawling tutorial okay so one thing we are sure that this 190 rupees uh, sorry this price will also be uh, 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 stored either in this line of the uh, this uh, this line of the file uh, or if not in this line then it may be uh, it may be there in the subsequent lines so how can we print these subsequent lines along with the uh, how can we uh, uh, find the subsequent line in grip there, there is one special switch for that called hyphen capital A and if you want to print till uh, after one line uh, after finding this pattern serialize you can use hyphen A1 if you want to print till uh, two or three lines you can just change this number two three and so on so let's first see uh, maybe that uh, this product price is listed on the next line of this file so let's just do hyphen A1 and we can see that we are able to grab 190 that is the product price so now we got the HTML structures where our product names and prices may be stored. Okay, so now we have to find those. Uh, we have to fetch the product names and file names from this. Uh, sorry, the, uh, the product names and prices from this specific uh, HTML structure. So now first let's try to fetch the product name. Okay so actually first we'll see in how much lines we are getting the product name okay so we can use one command wc hyphen l that counts the number of lines in a file or in a output okay so there are total two number of lines here okay so we need to be uh, uh, we need to find uh, find some unique tag uh, we need to find some unique tag uh, where our product is stored uh, because if we will not be using that uniqueness we will not be able to find other products with same logic okay and we we, we may do uh, mess up so what how can we do uh, we can see that uh, there are two lines which is having the product information okay uh, if we see the both uh, some patterns in both lines in first line we we can see there are some uh, characteristics of this pro uh, product like image width image height 
so the, I, I think this line will be common across all the products. So if you are getting multiple lines, you need to figure out which line will be common among all the products. Here we can say that there are two lines. One is this one and another is this one. So in these two lines, we believe that this line will be uh, this line will be more common across all the products listed on this website. So we will uh, try to fetch our product name from this line. Okay. So what is uh, how can we uh, uh, means we are getting two lines. How can we uh, redu reduce it to one line? That is simple. To grip uh, grip with some unique words. That is only. Uh, that is only existing on this line that is IMG because if you see IMG it is not in the second line if you see uh, try to find IMG on second line you will not be able to find it anywhere okay so we can use IMG let's uh, remove this or uh, WCF9 because we don't have to count line okay and we have to find grip IMG now i believe we have only one line we can uh, cross check from wc hyphen l okay now this uh, you can be sure that this html structure will be for every product okay so for fetching the product for this html structure we can see we can use some kind of delimiters okay delimiters are same or uh, like in excel we you uh, we used to split one column in multi one excel column in multiple excel columns right on basis of some delimiter it can be semicolon or it can be comma so here also we uh, uh, means how can we decide what delimiter we, we will be using the best idea is see which char which character is before the product name so we can see it is a greater than sign okay so we will be using this as our first delimiter okay so how can we split in linux on basis of a delimiter the answer is cut command so how we use cut command this is uh, done by pipe and we give delim uh, delimiter by this switch cut hyphen t and what is our delimiter that is greater than sign then we use hyphen f switch so hyphen f switch in a hyphen f switch you can give f1 that will be printing the data before this delimiter okay and in second output it will be printing the data after the delimiter but but here if you see this delimiter is not appearing here for first time if you see uh, it is appearing multiple times in this complete string or in, compl uh, in this complete output so we first need to check uh, we first need to split and see what is the first element after split we can see it is the first element the first element is uh, this okay and if you see the second element it will be this yes okay now let's see the third element okay so third element is something uh, when this delimiter will be appearing third time here somewhere I think uh, it is uh, uh, we don't need to uh, find it actually we can just uh, proceed it with the further uh, components after uh, splitting it on this character uh, on this delimiter until we find our product name yeah so see when you are doing it fourth times you are able to find your product name okay now the thing is uh, to getting the product name completely you need to do split once again and this time because you are getting the head of the you, you are getting the head of the uh, product name but you are not getting the tail uh, properly okay so what you can do you can split it again on another delimiter that is less than sign okay so 
we will be doing it like this cut hyphen d less than sign and this is the first element of course yeah so here we got the complete product name okay okay so uh, now this is not the only way uh, by which we can get the product name but like uh, we know that we are using delimiter to split the uh, uh, html output and we can do it in multiple formats because you can see that actual html is quite com uh, uh, that is quite long so we can uh, we can split it on multiple delimiters in multiple ways like one of the example i will show you uh, this is the another uh, uh, one minute yeah so this is the another command by which we are uh, uh, trying to find the product name of another uh, uh, another product that is teddy uh, baby teddy uh, baby and uh, if you run this command then oh sorry i think something uh, there is some mistake yeah so if we run this command then also we are getting the product names and if you see the construct of both commands are different uh, if you see the uh, command for sarlec then uh, here we are using uh, uh, we are printing fourth element after the cut right and then first element but uh, with uh, this command construct we are first uh, printing the third element and then the first element so we can uh, we can uh, split it on basis of delimiters in multiple ways and we can get the product name uh, uh, pro product name also by uh, multiple ways okay so now suppose this is the command we are using to get the uh, get uh, one product name but what happens if we remove the first grep which is uh, uh, which is only grepping for one specific product right so now if we remove this it should show us all the products that are registered in this website oh sorry i think something went wrong because i put two pipes yeah so now you can see that it is showing us all the products that are listed on this website if we count the number of these products by wc hyphen l we are getting 42 now the actual products that are registered on this website is 41 uh, how this output is coming uh, this is wrong uh, but uh, i i don't know why why it is uh, why the behavior of this command is like that but one thing i can uh, tell you uh, for sure whenever you are crawling data from the internet you need to uh, go with the uh, you need to ignore these kind of uh, problems uh, with uh, means if you are not getting the complete there will be multiple times when you will be getting some less data or some more data okay so we need to just refine our logic and check what went wrong because we uh, the scope of this course is uh, just to uh, uh, you know uh, uh, develop one thinking approach for you to crawl any website so we will not be going into detail if we check we can surely find that uh, maybe due to some special character or maybe due to some uh, uh, non english character one any one product is getting uh, counted more than one times uh, this may be the reason of that so but what we can say here all the products that are listed on the website those are here okay and product names are very big you can see uh, of course it is not easy to uh, grab uh, it is not easy to grab two large strings so you will need to uh, you will need to you know do some kind of data cleaning if you want to uh, you you want to store your data from crawling in a very perfect uh, perfect way 
so here we got uh, product names okay uh, all product names that is registered on the website and now we have to find the price okay uh, price of all these products so what we can do we can uh, for getting the price actually we will be again uh, going to our previous command that is uh, uh, this where we are getting the uh, 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 we are getting the product name okay for this teddy baby so uh, one thing we are sure uh, uh, if we go into the website actually for mo for, mo for a moment then we can see uh, the price data should also be available somewhere near to the product name okay but here somehow we are not able to find the price in the uh, uh, price in the same line okay so uh, le let's uh, change this command to see the line that we were getting after grabbing the product okay so for teddy baby the price is 312 rupees okay so let's uh, search 312 in this line okay so 312 is not in this line so what we can do we we can be sure this line uh, this price can be after this line after one or two lines so let's try after one line if it doesn't work then we will try after two lines by uh, taking this number and then after three lines until we get this product okay so let's try with the one first yeah we didn't find it so let's try with two let's th try with three mm, okay i am not sure what is wrong here if i remove this space then I think I should mention hyphen A after this. Oh, okay. For Teddy Baby, the price is two seventy. So this is what went wrong. Let's try with 270. And yeah, we got it. So I think we should get it not in third line, first or second line itself. Yeah, see, so uh, what we were doing wrong, we were picking the wrong price, it is 270, okay? So after uh, the minutes, now we got that after one line, we will be getting, uh, we will be getting a product name and after, uh, uh, after this, uh, uh, sorry, uh, on the first line we will be getting the product name, and after one line we will be getting the price. So now we can uh, we can uh, get the uh, uh, price uh, of any product. We again need to uh, split it on delimiter. So what is the first uh, character before the uh, before the price that we want to crawl? That is greater than sign. So let's. Uh, uh, let's try to split on basis of this delimiter. Okay, yeah, one more thing actually, when you are doing this, we are getting two lines. Uh, sorry, we are, we are getting four lines, but the uh, uh, we have price in the if you see uh 270 we have price in the i think it is in th uh second line uh, let me let me check so one thing we can see uh in the price we have some special uh 
special tag line that is WooCommerce price amount. So we can try to crawl on basis of this tag. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now we are getting only one line. Now we can do the split. So we will be using cut for that. We will be first cutting it on the special character. F1. Of course, we are not getting the price. F2. We are not getting the price. F3. We are not getting the price. F4. We are not getting the price. F5. We are not getting the price. F6. We are not getting the price. F7. I think we are getting some price, but this does not belong to this. Yes, I think it is something different. It may be after this. Yeah, it is think. Uh, I think there are two prices here. Uh, one, uh, one the premium price and other is discounted price. So we have to. Uh, if, if you want to capture both prices, then of course we can capture this also. But for simplicity, let's uh, only try to uh, uh, capture the actual price. F8, we are not getting this. F9, also we are not getting it. F10, also we are not getting it. F11, also we are not getting it. F12, also we are not getting it. F13 we are also not getting it, F14 also we are not getting it, F15 now we got the price okay again we are getting the head but we are not getting the tail so again we will need to split it. We, will, uh, we need to split it in uh, on uh, basis of less than sign. Yeah and here we got the price also. Okay, so now we are uh, uh, we are successful in crawling the website and uh, getting a product name and uh, price of those products. So now we will be running one script to uh, perform the complete cr uh, crawling on the website. Uh, let me show you that script. So this is the script that will be crawling the complete website and. Uh, uh, I will be providing you uh, uh, this script on the resources, uh, but uh, I, I I will suggest you to uh, do this uh, uh, do this practice uh, on some other website as well. Uh, you can use my website for only learning purpose. Like how can you get some data uh, data points? But I, I I request you to not put too much load on my website. Uh, okay. So actually this is the command I would like to explain you uh, step by step uh, that how it will be crawling the complete website because now uh, now you know that uh, we can get any product and uh, uh, we were also uh, able to achieve the all uh, uh, achieve all the products uh, pro product lists. So what we will do actually first we will be copying the all product uh, lists uh, in this file. Okay, so this this file is having all the product list that we got from which command? Uh, let me uh, let me show you. Uh, yes, so this was the command actually. You you can see. I used to uh, get uh, all the products on this website. Once after getting this, uh, uh, once after getting this uh, product list, what I did, I just uh, cop, uh, I just copied it to one file named product underscore list. Okay, so now I am opening my script again. That is crawl dot sh. So here, uh, what I'm doing, uh, I'm just iterating through all the uh, all the lines of this file, uh, means product by product, 
and uh, uh, because once we have product name we can get a uh, price also by using this command uh, uh, by just using some uh, uh, crawling methods uh, with cut and uh, with cut command uh, of delimiters uh, let me change color of this because it is uh, visible to you uh, in more clear way Uh, okay, uh, I believe that now uh, it may be visible to you in uh, uh, more clearly. So here you can see that I you used this same command uh, which I used to fetch the price. Only I uh, instead of uh, in, uh, instead of product name I used this uh, variable. Okay, that is dollar line. Let me change it to product underscore name so that it doesn't con confuse you uh, okay so here what I'm doing uh, once we have all the product list in the file uh, then we are just creating one CSV file where we will be importing a uh, product name and product price and later we will be loading this csv file into mongodb okay so uh, then after that uh, we are using this loop which will be iterating through uh, uh, iterating through the uh, all the products in the product list file and uh, we, uh, you can see that the product name will be uh, and yeah we are storing the product name in the line variable and uh, here uh, we are just uh, we are again uh, storing the, uh, that product name into this variable and after that we are fetching product price from this command and then actually uh, in product name we are removing any comma in this line uh, because uh, you you can see uh, in the website the uh, product names are very long so because we will be uh, the, we are uh, storing it as a csv file so we don't want to have any comma in the product name means you can say that we are just doing some kind of data cleaning here okay then after that we are also removing comma from the product price here and so uh, removing comma from a uh, integer because product product price is a integer or float number so removing comma from product price is actually tricky in shell script and it is uh, uh we don't need to get into this uh, uh at current time because we just need to understand the logic how can we crawl the website and how can we completely crawl a website once we get html uh, structure for one comp uh, one product of our website okay so we uh, uh means uh, if currently you are not understand uh, understanding these all things you can just uh, make some practice on these commands and you can try to uh, play with the different uh, data uh, different data points you you get from the website okay now here finally we are uh, uh, we are uh, uh, just uh, printing uh, that what will be product name and product price and finally we are uh, taking the uh, those product names and product price uh, into this csv file okay so this is the what the loop is doing and after that actually what we are doing we are creating a new database in mongodb that's name is crawling and first we are checking if that database exists we are deleting that in this line and then in this line finally we are importing this csv file uh, that we created of product name and uh, product prices to to a database that, that uh, that's name is crawling and the uh, table name that is little mark okay so this is the command for importing that okay now let me show you by running the script so that you can understand clearly first let me clear uh, the database that is uh, 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 that uh, exists in my system so in mongodb you can check database from this command uh, this is the crawling database first we will delete it Okay. Now we will be running this script. 
yeah so you can see that uh, it is uh, uh, printing all the product names and their prices you can also verify uh, every product from the website let me verify one product this is law lab uh, vantage one let us search this product price here it is a uh, 6262 rupees let's see the uh, the same price is getting reflected uh, after our crawling okay and the same price will be stored in our database we can check into uh, uh, by logging into our mongodb database okay so this is our uh, database crawling we can see the list of tables there should be only one little mark yes so that's fine okay so we can see that all the product names and their prices are listed there uh, we can just check uh, any product like uh, artin swing let's uh, uh, RT, this is the product name Art, artin swing and the price is 39.90 let's check into website whether we are getting the correct price name uh, correct price tag or not it is 3990 same is reflecting into database so actually uh, whenever you uh, you crawl a website you need to do lot of data cleaning because here also you may be seeing that some data points are not coming correctly like here product price is coming blue okay but still we are able to see the price in in a different field this is because i i have not written or uh, because if uh, we uh, we have to do proper data cleaning before importing into into mongodb but uh, uh, just having a um, uh, having in mind the scope of, scope of this course is to uh, 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 make you uh, think about uh, how can you crawl a website not getting uh, into very detail of data cleaning so i believe that i leave it up to you to as an exercise to do yourself because in this most of the data points are coming very correctly like here uh, uh, there is one glitch that it is a float uh, product price is 799.00 it is appearing two times so we need to check i believe that it is something uh, means we uh, we had to refine uh, our approach when we are getting uh, when we are fetching data from the html so there are a lot of scope of improvements but still we are getting enough data in our database and we can uh, clean this data and get enough insights we can also set up notification like if price of any product is going down or if any product new product has come on uh, in this website then we get a notification so actually this kind of crawlings uh, make it easy for you to track a uh, few things on web like stock prices mutual fund prices few offers few coupons and if you are just uh, just crawling any website for non commercial purpose or for your personal use only and you are not overloading the website then there will not be any problem uh, there will there should not be any legal complication if you are doing it for very minimal uses and it can also i think uh, make our life easy and multiple uh, in multiple ways so this was the complete demonstration of uh, uh, crawling and uh, it was complete practical so i will see you in the next video hello all welcome to my videos so one of the problem that we uh, mostly face uh, while doing crawling uh, suppose we placed any uh, crawling script uh, to crawl any website uh, in our cron uh, which is uh, uh, which is running crawling on every day at 12 pm and one on one special day suppose uh, on that website some new ui changes have occurred then our crawling script will start failing so for dealing with 
current scenarios uh, we actually we can't we can't do much about that because uh, when it is uh, totally up to the uh, uh, owner of website uh, to make changes uh, as per their requirement but what we can do we can minimize our effort in these cases to avoid rewriting the complete code so what we can do for that actually we can just go with some modular approach uh, uh, in in code we can just keep uh, uh, logic for different uh, crawling elements separately like in our previous case suppose uh, if some ui changes happen and then we are able to get data from uh, for product price uh, product name but we are not able to get data for product price then we know that we just need to make changes um, in logic for product price right so this is how we can just create some functions if you are doing in linux or we can just create some uh, uh, modules if you are doing it uh, in python or java development for each crawling element okay next thing we can do is to use rest apis and apis nowadays mostly apis are coming for uh, each and every major website either it is a travel website like booking.com or it is a, uh, a stock website like jarodha and of stocks or it is google apis it is yahoo apis we have lot of options to do this uh, do uh, something so in those cases uh, i think it is best to uh, it is best to use rest apis if your business model or your requirement is something like you have to crawl lot of data from other websites hello every hello everyone welcome to my videos so as the co course is approaching to end uh, it will be important uh, to discuss the legal aspects of crawling Crawling is illegal in USA and many other developed countries. If you will be caught doing crawling on uh, on website which ser servers are located inside uh, those countries, apart from cyber acts, you can also be penalized under multiple other acts like Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, California Penal Code, Digital Millennium Copyright Act, Breach of Contract, Creepass, and Misappropriation. If we talk about India and other uh, uh, developing countries in Asia, etc., then uh, crawling is not as much strict as in developed countries, uh, uh, and it is mostly in grey area. But still, if we don't talk about cyber, uh, only cyber act, and uh, think from our common sense, doing a crawling can overload servers, which may result in uh, outages and business losses. Apart we can be penalized under uh, under conflict of interest or also website owner can charge us for data uh, data theft in the last i will be uh, i will um, like to uh, give one uh, friendly advice to all the attendees of this course if you are doing crawling on any website then don't ever use that data for commercial purpose or sell that data to anyone it can really uh, put uh, uh, anyone into uh, uh, one unwanted scenario uh, okay so uh, uh, how to be safe from this situation uh, while doing crawling so first read a uh, term and condition of each website maybe uh, some website has mentioned very clearly that crawling is not allowed in this website uh, if it is not mentioned then also uh, we are not authorized to do any kind of crawling uh, until it is very minimal uh, don't uh, uh, don't crawl disallowed content in robot.txt file so in any website ro uh, root page you can find a robot.txt file and whatever content is disallowed there for search engines you can uh, you can also not crawl that take prior written permission of crawling from owner for commercial and commercial use we have already discussed this and use AP use apis to make commercial applications hello all so in the last i would like to thank you for joining this course you can reach me on the, uh, this email id shukla.chandan0012 at the rate gmail.com if you have any feedbacks uh, for how can i improve this course further um, and i will mo uh, mod modify and rectify the course accordingly you can also reach on my email id for any queries you can also provide your feedback about course here in udemy comment section so thanks uh, thanks again
uh, it was a great pleasure to connect you